country. Uh, let's get out to Tasha now and find out how she's uh, protecting herself this time. Well, Simi, there's various weapons you can really protect yourself with here at Academy Duello. Uh, we are going to go through some of them. And uh, Devin, if people are interested in kind of modern sword play, uh, yeah. what's the best way to get them into the sport? Um, we have classes that begin every month. Um, a, our introductory special right now is $99. Takes you on eight class series. You can okay. either do two times a week or once a week. And we have classes on Saturdays, every weeknight, and even weekdays during the week if you want to come uh, at your lunch break. And do you just wear gym clothes or do you have to yeah, wear just them? wear gym, gym clothes. We've got a uniform t-shirt that okay. uh, just a workout t-shirt uh, and that's that's it and just comfortable clothing and footwear okay so let's get fighting or sure. dueling so we cover a lot of different things from unarmed so the first uh, person we have Laura here is going to teach you a basic knife defense by attacking <laughs> you with a knife okay. so we do knife and wrestling this gives you connection with body mechanics so okay. if she strikes from above you want to meet it actually with the other arm oh. with your thumb down so this position is called posta longa which is long position uh -huh. so you want to even step forward with that leg or step back with this one so you're okay. really stretching out okay and now now to do the disarm from here, all you need to do is just rotate your hand and what's going to happen is it's going to bring your wrist against the back of her knife. So just let your hand rotate. There you go. And it drops the knife right out of her hand, which you can actually catch in your other hand. Okay. okay. As if I was quick. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> but you'll learn that. That's one of the first techniques that we learn. Okay. So, and of course, it's a lot of repetition, right, to make it instinctual. Yes, absolutely. And that just gives you really confident with your body. And all the Italian techniques are just very simple reactionary positions that you develop core strength around. Okay, now that's... So now this is a rapier, which is one of the core weapons we use. Now put your index finger over that bar. Oh, okay. And yeah, your sword leg forward is what you want. The rapier is held out in front of you. It's a weapon that really emphasizes distance, timing, um, as well as a lot of the strategy of the fight. It's one of the most complex weapons, and it's why it's one of our core weapons, and it okay. teaches you about all the others. So this is ma mainly a thrusting weapon, and so, so you would try to thrust and deflect her weapon aside Oh. Well, you strike her. So she can okay. do that to you. So she strikes you on the inside. So, okay. Leah, why don't you give a strike okay. to Tasha there? Hey, nice defense. There you go. So, in movies, we see a lot of cutting with these, but they're actually predominantly thrusting weapons. And you also use the offhand, dagger, shield, lots of different things are used with this weapon. Okay, very fun. Thank you very much. Look at There we are. Another one of our weapons is called a side sword. So, it's a type of heavy cutting sword. So, yeah. hold on the same way you did the rapier. Okay. And then this one is more cutting oriented. So, you'll be cutting down towards oh. your opponent. Exactly. And I'll just try not to have my head cut off here. Just like in the movie. Movies. Exactly. So this is definitely has more of that movie feel. And we use these single-handed or with shields. And then these progress to... Thank you very much. The next one. I mean, we're actually moving through history as we do this as well. Oh, are we? Um, okay. So this is the long sword. Think of like 1300s, 1400s, knightly weapons. This is used in two hands. Uh -huh. And so again, nice stable posture, very square to our opponent. Go ahead and do throw a few cuts there Whoops. against Michelle. So Michelle's just being kind there and giving some blocks. <laughs> and so this is also a weapon that we use for wrestling techniques as well. So some of the things we did with the umbrella earlier, you can hold this in two hands and use it to wrestle with your opponent. Okay. Nice. You're pretty kick-ass cool. there. I'm impressed. That's really heavy. Um, you and then we out. also do things with pole weapons. So this is a quarter staff. And so you want to have opposite to your partner sitting on the inside. There you, there go. you go. And so the quarter staff has the low guard, which is your holding it in. So you want to hold it here across so you can okay. hold this hand low. That's good. And this hand high up on the staff. Okay. And your first basic block is to just cast the point across like that. Okay. So if Andre's striking towards you, you can just block it aside. And then you can strike to him with a lunge of the front Oops. foot and just extending the staff out. Exactly. Okay. Then there's the other basic position is the high guard. So if you lift the staff and hold it over your head, keep your hand like just like it was so keep your hands exactly as they were uh -huh. so you want to be able to switch so flip this hand so it's like this so, okay there you go you want to be able to switch between those guards so here now you can protect your whole body just kind of like a big windshield wiper oh. so that protects everything so this is a good stance it's often advocated <laughs> if you're fighting at night okay thank you very much Devin. we're going to continue fighting down here but let's head into the kitchen with dave thank you so 